I come here before you today joined by my colleague, uh, Senator Baldwin from Wisconsin, but also colleagues from both sides of the aisle, as she mentioned, in support of the legislation that provides safer, more effective pain management to our nation's veterans. Too many of our veterans have returned home from overseas duties only to fight another battle here at home. The Jason Simkuski Memorial Opioid Safety Act takes the necessary steps to address challenges faced by our veterans. Again, I would like to thank the Simkuskis for their bravery and courage for coming forward with this story, as painful as it is for the family, in hopes that, that it will help, and it will help, those next generation of veterans who are being treated at the VA. This bill reforms the over-reliance on painkillers by the VA while still ensuring that veterans receive appropriate medication. This legislation not only updates and strengthens the guidelines for opioid pre prescriptions, but it requires the Department of the Veterans Affairs to expand the scope of research, education, delivery, and integration of alternative pain management. Chronic pain should not be something that our veterans are forced to live with, and the VA must be on the cutting edge of developing effective pain management. This bill will elevate the role of patient advocates, uh, like I'm sure Jason's wife was a great patient advocate require community me meetings hosted by the VA, and establish a joint DOD-VA working group to improve coordination and communication at all levels of government. In an era where medical research and technological advancements have led to at least a 90% survival rate of our wounded soldiers, we must continue to focus on the battles that our veterans face when they return home, including the treatments of those wounds that are not evidently viable or visible. One Marine in my hometown, Andrew White, returned home to West Virginia after serving in Iraq. Andrew dis displayed signs of PTSD, including insomnia, nightmares, constant restlessness, and pain related to an injury. In addition to an antidepressant and anti-anxiety pills, doctors placed Andrew on a strong antipsychotic drug and over time increased his, his dosage from 25 milligrams to 1,600 milligrams more than twice the dosage recommended to treat schizophrenia. Andrew White died in his sleep at the age of 23. Andrew is a reminder of the physical and mental side effects of war. We must work together to provide the resources and care necessary to assist our veterans from that transition into civilian life. Expansion of the Opioid Safety Initiative and further development of the Opioid Th Therapy Risk Report Tool will do just that. These measures will enable the VA to use the patient record database to detect those at higher risk of opioid abuse and submit information to the state prescription drug monitoring programs. We really need all hands on deck. This real-time tracking of information will enab enable medical professionals to better diagnose and treat patients. This legislation calls for more accountability within the VA through internal audits, reports to Congress, and increased information sharing. <coughs> Excuse me not allow bureaucracy to get in the way of delivering quality care to veterans, and we must prioritize the efficient delivery of care. In my home state of West Virginia, the tragic effect of opioid abuse has left families de devastated. I have met with other families who have lost their loved ones after suffering from PTSD, traumatic brain injury, and I believe that more can be done to find solutions. It is incumbent upon us in a bipartisan way, as my colleague has said, to do right by our veterans. I really want to thank Senator Baldwin. I've been on committee meeting after committee meeting with her while she has pounded the drum on the importance of this issue and how devastating it is to families across this country. So thank you so much, Senator Baldwin. Our best is just not the least we can do. It is our duty to those of whom have served, have we have asked so much to do more than our best, and this bill does that. Thank you, and I yield the floor.